Hi, this is Martin from smartclassesup.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can play Minecraft Java Edition on your Quest 2 headset. I'm actually currently in the middle of making a whole series of Minecraft videos, so if you cannot get your answer from this video, make sure to check the video description below for additional resources. But without wasting any more time, let's get started. First some requirements. In order to play Minecraft Java Edition in VR, you're going to need a VR capable gaming PC. The most crucial part is uh, that your PC has a dedicated GPU, otherwise uh, VR games simply won't run. You're then going to have to set up your PC for VR gaming, either using Oculus Link, AirLink or Virtual Desktop. I personally like playing wireless and use AirLink most of the time. Since it's a long topic, I'm not going to cover it in this video. But if you're new to this, I will leave some links in the video description below to help you get started. And finally, you're going to have to install Steam and Steam VR Client and make sure that it is able to track your headset and controllers properly. So now we're going to move ahead with actual Minecraft installation related activities. First you're going to have to purchase and install Minecraft. In order to do that, go to minecraft.net, get Minecraft, computer, PC, and here you can see the Minecraft Java edition. Uh, I personally signed up for the Xbox Game Pass, where uh, the first month is for uh, $1. And, um, with this package you actually get access to Minecraft uh, Bedrock Edition as well. But uh, you could just buy the uh, Java Minecraft Java Edition separately, so it's up to you. After you have purchased, downloaded and installed uh, the game, you should see Minecraft Launcher installed on your PC. And if that's it, then let it be and move on with other activities. As the next step, we're going to check if your PC has a Java runtime environment installed. The easiest way to do that is to open command prompt, type java version. If it displays a version here, then you're good to go. But if there's like an um, unrecognized command or something similar, then you must go to java.com, java download, and uh, agree and start free download. Then complete the installation and resume to the manual. As our next step, we're going to install Wirecraft, which is basically a mod that uh, turns Minecraft into VR, so you actually are within the game, moving from the first person perspective. So in order to install Minecraft, go to Downloads, um, check for the latest uh, current version, we're not going to download the alpha version, which might have bugs, but instead go to the latest um, stable version, which currently is 1.17. Uh, from the GitHub, we're going to select uh, the uh, VR version, not non-VR. So download. Let's wait. Once it's downloaded, let's launch it. Uh, here everything should be okay. You can check whether this uh, folder exists. It indeed does exist. Um, the only thing I would change is um, change the RAM allocation from 2 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes. Uh, but only do that if, uh, if uh, you have at least 8 gigabits of RAM, gigabytes of RAM. If you do, then uh, then that's okay. If you have less, then uh, then uh, leave it at two. But uh, in that case, I'll doubt you'll have a good VR experience with your PC specs. And uh, before um, installing, make sure that you have a closed uh, Minecraft launcher, and then go ahead and install. After you have completed the uh, Minecraft in installation. Uh, open Minecraft Launcher again and um, we're going to check that it created a Wirecraft prof profile. So let's wait. 
And yeah, indeed, you can see that uh, Wirecraft is here, and that's the uh, that's the version we are going to use now. Before launching Wirecraft from the Minecraft launcher, I am now jumped into VR, and we are first going to establish a PC VR connection. Uh, I'm going to use Oculus Air Link, but um, you can also use uh, the wired, uh, regular wired link with a USB cable or virtual desktop if you prefer. I tested all of the free methods and uh, all of them work properly with Minecraft. So let's go ahead and launch. So here we go. And now we're going to go back to the PC for a second. So I'm now back in my PC while keeping the AirLink uh, session active. I have simply placed the headset on my forehead and let it run there. So now all that's left to do is um, make sure that Wildcraft is selected and uh, click play. If it's your first time then it, uh, it will first uh, download and install the Java edition. But uh, if you have done it once it will be click. So let's, let's select play and go back to the headset. I'm now back in uh, VR. I selected uh, play uh, from my, my PC in Minecraft launcher. And, and now the actual, actual uh, Minecraft Wivecraft combo is uh, launching. There is a bit of uh, stock doing initially. I don't know why, but it uh, for me it has uh, gone away after after a bit of loading. So here you can see uh, Minecraft. So let's select uh, some kind of uh, test world. And here you go, we are playing Minecraft in VR. I hope this video is useful for you and as mentioned earlier, I'm going to create additional videos about playing Minecraft on the Quest 2. Uh, I'm going to cover how to play uh, the Minecraft Bedrock Edition and also describe different ways you can install, install Minecraft directly on your headset without uh, needing PC. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to check out my YouTube channel and and the video description for additional resources. Okay, that's it for now. Goodbye.